In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the optical quad encoder to judge the distance your robot is moving or judge the distance a wheel has rotated uh, through its circumference um, using functions and some variables. So let's take a look at this program. So here in our program we can see we have our motor and sensor set up across the top here. Uh, digital port 1 we have the uh, sensor the enc encoder uh, and then digital port 3 is the left encoder so we got two different wheels with encoders on them. Uh, motor port 1 is right motor it's been reversed. Motor port 3 is the left motor and it's still in its original configuration. We have a description of what's happening here in a block quote. Notice that we start with a slash asterisk and end with an asterisk slash. And here's our program. Inside of our main task, we start by waiting two seconds. This allows the program to turn on and us to get our hands away from the machine before it starts going. Line 38 sets up an integer type variable named distance. After that on line 39 we say that distance is equal to 720. Well if we remember a quad encoder will count 360 ticks for one revolution. So if it's 720 that means that we're going to go 720 divided by 360 that's two rotations. Remember I said we need to set everything to zero before we start counting. It makes our math a whole lot easier. So we're going to say the sensor value of the right encoder is equal to, notice the single equals symbol, zero. We're going to set the left encoder equal to zero. Now, we're going to set up a while, because while it's less than 720, while it is still not gone as far as I want it to, I want the motors to run. Once it's gone the distance I want it to, I want it to stop. So we set up a while condition. So while our condition is the right encoder is less than the distance, how do we get the value of our distance? It's the value of the variable distance that we set up here in line 39. As long as the condition is true, the motors, right motor and left motor, are going to be set to power level 63. Remember I said positive values should always be forward, should always be going to the right, and should always be going up. Uh, that uh, helps you with your programming so that somebody building the robot can just tell the programmer where the parts are and the person can program the robot with now not necessarily seeing the robot. They just need to know where components are attached and what you want the robot to do. So we count up, we're at 718, 719, 720. 720 is not greater than 720. So we leave the while condition and we go to the next lines of code which 51 and 50 tell the motors to stop. This li these lines of command are not nested within a infinite while loop so after line 51 is executed the next line 52 is the closing brace for the main task and so that will end our program. To make this run forever, okay, and keep going forward uh, two rotations every um, loop through, we can put all this inside of an infinite while loop. 
And so we can say while 1 is equal equal to 1, okay, this is an infinite while loop. Okay. You could also put in here just true. Okay. Both of them work. Get that indent in the right place. The indents, every time you have an opening curly brace, you indent the next lines. Okay. All right, we have another opening curly brace, so I need to indent those lines a little farther. The closing curly brace, as you notice, lines up with this, and it also lines up with the first letter of that while that it opened. Okay, so we're back to the line here. Okay. And then we have an opening curly brace. We open, we close. If this is line 53 is the end of my while, I need to close it. And notice how it automatically indents it for us. And then the task ends. Well, since this while condition is always true, this will continually run. And that will allow the robot uh, to wait two seconds, set its value variables, set up its encoders, go forward two rotations, and then stop. This is still true. Wait two seconds, set everything to 720, encoders back to zero, while it's less than 720, 63. Stop. If I wanted it to go farther than just 720, I don't have to go and change a lot of the programming. I just change what the value of the uh, distance variable is. I can say, let's say, to a thousand. Now that's not three full rotations, um, but it'll get it to the distance I want to go. Maybe I want to go a fraction of a rotation. So when you have questions about robot C, just make sure you go back and look at the pseudocode that you created. Check the help um, feature on all these programs on Robot C. The help um, documentation is very, very good. And if you still can't figure it out, look it up online. Uh, the online community for VEX Robotics is really big and uh, really helpful. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to use um, a variable and how to use a while loop. Uh, we will get to functions in another video. Um, thank you for watching.